city is a cesspool of sin. I um I define art as um art to me is really um uh, what whatever it is that you're passionate about and um whatever really makes makes you feel happy, you know, whether that's painting or drawing or sculpting, you know, what whatever that avenue is for you. I had this series that I did one year where I combined human parts with animal parts. Um, so it'd be like a morphed human animal thing, and um, <laughs> like I said, I also do a, a bunch of, you know, I mess around with symbolism, so I have this like halo kind of thing, but it wasn't really a halo, just look like what a halo would look like on like a renaissance painting, per se. Um, and you know, it's, this lady was looking at this piece, and it had no religious ties whatsoever, and <laughs> so here she is looking at my piece, and um, she leaves, and you know, she kept coming back every now and then, I thought maybe she was interested in buying the piece. <laughs> so I walk up to her and I introduce myself, you know, and I talk about the piece, and she just looks at me and goes, Do you worship Satan? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I started selling glass um, all around the country, uh, going to various shows and festivals and to stores, uh, selling wholesale and retail uh, when I was about 18. Um, and I met more glass blowers and more glass blowers over the few years that I did it. And um, I had always been an artist my whole life. Uh, I had always drawn painted, sketched, whatever um, I could do, I just needed to use my hands. Um, to make a functional object like that um, and um, to give it um, artistic beauty and to give it form and function and all these things together in balance to me um, is true art. It'll give you a good sunburn working all day too. Really? Oh yeah. A lot of people wear sunscreen. Wow. With a torch this big, I mean, you my, actually my, do get. my wow. face will peel the next day. Jeez. It's a lifestyle, man. You know, once you start living that lifestyle, there's really um, almost no looking back. You know, once you get really deep into it, like, all my friends are glass blowers. Like, if I stopped blowing glass today, I wouldn't. I'd have to go hang out with glass blowers every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I was sort of in between careers. Um, I had used to work as, as a gallery artist, as a painter, and um, I stopped doing that. And then, uh, and then I didn't know what I was going to do, and I was having a big, um, big crisis about that, you know, because it's like if you identify as an artist and that's kind of what you do and then you stop doing it, like, what do you do? Um, and what I really realized is that I am the most happy working with my hands. Like, if the hands are happy, if the hands are active, then the brain stays really, really happy. And so I started thinking about sort of different things that I could do and that I could make. Um, one of the things that I didn't like about painting very much was the, 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 the ex well, I guess sort of the, the lavishness of it, you know. Um, I was making really big work and it was really expensive and only a really select number of people could could afford to buy my work and and then it was just i felt like i was just creating sort of more stuff in a world that already has just like way too much stuff for me what the most important thing about being an artist about being a maker in general is um good ideas are a dime a dozen creativity comes so easily to anybody who has a brain. It's learning how to make something and make something well. That's what makes you an artist. That what's, that's what makes you successful. And so it's the dedication to the craft, the discipline, the hard work, getting to the point where you're like, this is so hard, this is no fun. You have to push through that, you know, because then, then you get to a point that every little idea you have, you can actualize it. And that's really the most important thing about think I think about being an artist is it's the practice. It's working really hard. Or whatever. I think it will somehow come to you and they'll ask you to do whatever. You know, I hear a lot of musicians complain, oh, I don't get paid, I don't get paid. I'm like, you know, dude, maybe you don't make a good spaghetti either. You know, maybe you shouldn't have a restaurant. I would get tired of playing covers on the street and even some of my original songs would get boring to me. So I would start playing chords and changing up things that I knew already and I would just start flowing with it because I always liked freestyle rap. I thought that was cool, but I was like, I think it could be done better, you know. So I work with it like that and work with it with my guitar too, which I don't see that happen too often. So. Like Doc Martin coming back in style. I wore them for a little while back in 1992. The things I'm telling you of them are true. Talking. Talking is spontaneous, so is doing music. So I went to play on the streets because I literally had to make money for my dinner. So that's how it started. And I just back then I just sort of like played some songs I'd written, you know, and a couple of covers. And that was it. But I keep it in my heart, in my head, my dreams and I don't you know I dream like every night like this a dream is born. If you are inspired, even if no one else ever likes it, if you're inspired to do that, that's true art. We got the camera and it was made by Canon, but don't shoot me, I didn't do it, tell them I was not there. Uh, I just get through it.